Greetings, everybody. So a while ago, I did a review where I compared three different species of coffee. I compared the Arabica coffee, which is the most common variety that if you go to the supermarket and buy coffee, you're probably getting Arabica coffee. Robusta coffee, which is sometimes used in Vietnamese coffee. And Liberica coffee, which is um, a very rare variety that is sometimes consumed in Indonesia and in the Philippines. Well, imagine my horror when I found out that there is another coffee species out there that you can get commercially. Excelsa coffee. Okay, so upon further investigation, I found out that Excelsa coffee was classified as its own species of coffee up until 2006, and then some botanist ruined all my fun and found out that this actually is Liberica coffee, but it's a different type of Liberica coffee. So we're gonna pretend that it's like 2003 and this is a completely different species because that's why I bought it. And because just one cup of coffee is not enough caffeine for me right now, uh, I also have two other rare varieties uh, in front of me right here. I have Adrano coffee, and this one is unique because it produces coffee cherries that are yellow instead of red. And finally, a wild-grown Papua New Guinea coffee. Now, Papua New Guinea is not the first place I would think about when I'm thinking about a a coffee growing region. It's supposed to be a wild grown Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. So Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, like seeds were brought there and they were grown and created a different strain that's supposed to be quite different than Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. I'm gonna try the Excelsa coffee first because uh, that's the one I'm most excited about. So uh, first let me give it a little smell test. Hmm, it smells very dark. Uh, the roast that I got on this is kind of odd. They call it a Harlequin roast. I think it's like a mixture of like medium and dark beans. At least that's what it looks like inside. It smells, um, very roasty, a bit like the Robusta coffee, actually. Robusta coffee has a little bit of like a, like a mellow rum sort of, sort of scent to it. Or uh, Vietnamese coffee, which is what Robusta coffee is usually used in. It's got a little bit of that. Tastes like it too. Tastes like Robusta coffee, which is odd because this is supposed to be um, closer in relation to Liberica coffee. So like a bit fruity, very, very roasty because it's like a dark roast. And yeah, like a little bit of like a, like a rum raisin sort of flavor in there. It's, um, it's all right. It's not exactly the type of coffee that I would like to drink every day. Uh, but it's a sort of coffee that, you know, I drink sometimes I wanted something a bit different. Uh, that's how I feel about Robusta coffee, and that's how I feel about this Excelsa coffee. Next, we've got the Adrano coffee, yellow colored coffee cherry coffee. Like a little bit vegetal smelling, oddly, but... Yeah, I'm not getting a strong, strong scent from it. Yeah, like a little bit of like a buttered bean sort of flavor. It's not like strongly of that. I mean, the main flavor in here is coffee, but there is like a little touch of a vegetal sort of flavor in there, which is kind of, kind of unique. It is uh, Arabica coffee, but it does taste different than the coffee that I'm, that I'm used to. Yeah, it's okay. I, I'm not like in love with it or anything, but it's totally fine cup of coffee. And finally, the Papua New Guinea coffee. 
This one has a little bit more of a fruity smell to it, a little bit like, um, like a peach, yeah, like peach candy. Not like a straight off the tree peach, but like a sweet peach candy kind of smell. Hmm. Does not taste like Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee. I'll give you that. I feel like Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee has like a, like a very like rich depth to it. This one doesn't have that kind of kind of depth, but the uh, the flavor that's there is good. I'm getting like a little bit of like a fruit flavor to it, but not the typical kind of fruit flavor that you would get from coffee. Normally, coffee you're gonna get like some cherries or like a berry sort of flavor to it. This one, slight peach taste, which is kind of kind of odd. The Papua New Guinea and the Adrano one are. Um, fairly close in flavor, but they are different. And the Excelsa is like a completely different sort of flavor. Um, but I guess that makes sense because we're talking about the Excelsa, which is a completely different species than the two that are Arabica. So maybe that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna try this now with some milk and sugar added. All right, so let's try the milk and sugared versions of these coffees. First, the Excelsa. That rum flavor, it's really coming out. I'm getting like a slightly buttery sort of flavor in there. I feel like there's like a little bit more oil content in those seeds. Strikingly similar to Robusta coffee, even though it's not Robusta coffee. That's interesting. For me, when I want a cup of coffee, I want something that is like, it's like ceremonial. You know, you have like the same sort of cup of coffee like every day. And um, having something like this is like throwing a Vietnamese coffee in with the mix. It's different. There's like a strong different flavor in there. So this is something that I would drink like once in a while, but it's not something that I would want to drink every day. Next, Adrano coffee. Let's try this one with milk and sugar. This is getting more into the territory of the type of coffee that I like. Like, if I get a cup of coffee, I'm gonna get something that's got a little bit of brightness to it. And this one, it does. It's got like a little bit like a, like almost like a fruit juice sort of flavor, almost like citrusy sort of tones to it. And um, still like a, like a nice roasty flavor as well. So that's, that's pretty good. Like this is one that I would be able to drink every day. Like that's, that's a good coffee. And um, finally, the Papua New Guinea. Yeah, peach. Oddly peach-like. This one, and also the Adrano a little bit, like they don't have as much body as I normally would expect from a cup of coffee. Um, they're, the flavors are good, but I feel like if I'm gonna make this again, I might make it like in a French press or something, just so it can like infuse a little deeper. I'm not sure which one of these I'd say is a favorite. So let's uh, let's do a side by side. This is the Adrano and this is the Papua New Guinea. Yeah, I'd go with the Adrano. I like the Papua New Guinea one, but it's um a little bit uh, too odd. For me, like I do like that flavor for like a once in a while sort of thing, but it's almost like, you know, having like a flavored coffee. There's like something in there that is um, not your traditional cup of coffee. And between the Adrano and the Excelsa, well, they're so different. They're so different. The Excelsa, I feel like I would make a dessert out of this. I would use that and make like cake, like a cake with coffee in it or make a pudding out of it or ice cream or something. And there's no sharpness to it. There's no tartness to it. It's very, very mellow. If you like coffee that doesn't have like any brightness to it, that is one to go for. Um, me, I like one that's gonna have a little bit of brightness to it. So I think the my favorite one is the Adrano coffee. Next, I would go with the Papua New Guinea, and finally, I'd go with the Excelsa. 
which is maybe a little disappointing <laughs> because like that was the one that I was most excited about. However, out of these three, the Excelsa is probably the one that is most unique. It is a different species and you can tell that it's a different species. So um, yeah, it's interesting to get a chance to try these three varieties of coffee side by side. And uh, yeah, it's the sort of thing that I just don't understand is like there are so many different species of coffee, even beyond these ones. There's like wild ones out there that you can drink and um, they're just not available. But with so much of a culture around coffee, you think that they'd be easier to find, but they're not. I've only found like one or two websites online that have the Excelsa coffee at all. So um, it's kind of bizarre. And I'd recommend if you haven't tried a different species of coffee, try a different species of coffee. You might be able to find Robusta coffee sometimes at, at markets, or at least if you go to like a Vietnamese coffee shop, probably find it there. Uh, otherwise, I'll put a few links in the description below if you want to try these and uh, check out my other video about other coffee species, the comparison of the Liberica, Robusta, and Arabica for even more comparisons like this. And maybe if there's a little bit more demand out there for these types of coffees, these different species of coffee, then maybe they will show up at supermarkets or even better some of those even rarer species of coffee will start showing up. That's what I really want. I want to try some really, really crazy wild coffee species. Uh, I would love to be able to do that, but um, unfortunately, very hard to do. So I think that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, AltPod, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. I'm sure you've heard about Patreon.com, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the trips that I go on and how I get all the fruit that I review. That is all from funding from viewers like you. So if you enjoy what you're seeing here and you want to help me out, uh, please check out the link in the description below and uh, there you can find out more. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.